low budget independent film. It was our first baby and, um, that was produced completely by ourselves. And we decided that uh, we'd take it on the festival circuit. We did that and we got a few offers on it, but they were really, really horrible. And um, I had happened to be lucky and had a background uh, previous to getting into filmmaking where I learned a lot about contracts. And when I looked at those contracts, and I saw how lopsided they were in favor of the distributor, I thought to myself, my God, well, I'll never be able to sustain myself as an artist or a filmmaker uh, you know, if these are the kinds of deals that are out there. So uh, my partner, Michael, and I started, uh, decided we would start a distribution company of our own. And we were very fortunate to get into the business early on. It was right on that cusp of when uh, film was starting to die and digital was starting to come in. And in fact, we actually were lucky enough to have the very first independent film downloadable from Amazon. And we've been partners with Amazon ever since. Uh, so that really got us off on the right track. And uh, over the past 10 years, we're just celebrating our 10th year with uh, our company. It's called Indie Rights. And that was important to us that, that we were filmmakers and that the people that we work with uh, no, understand that we're filmmakers and we understand their needs. So we came up with a business model that's entirely different uh, from traditional deals. Uh, and, and that's not to say that your film shouldn't go after a more traditional deal. It, you, one of the most important things you have to do is to try and really get a clear understanding of what you have in your hand. And we all think that our movie is the best movie ever made. Uh, the most important thing you can do is to talk to some people, and not your parents, not your friends and family, and try and really get a grasp on what you have. If it's your first film, maybe you, you need to go DIY. Uh, if you come up with a film that's really doing really well in festivals, uh, maybe you can get a, a, real, a real distributor, what I call a real distributor. Or if you've got something really spectacular and you wind up at Sundance, maybe Harvey Weinstein will offer you a couple million dollars for it. The important thing is that you have to get some kind of realistic grasp on what you have. And once you take a good look at it and decide, then you've got to do your homework. Uh, we, uh, we felt very strongly that uh, filmmakers deserve to earn money from day one on their films, and that's kind of a, a revolutionary uh, idea in our business. Uh, most times, uh, distributors will want to take a substantial amount of expenses up front before you ever see a penny. And, and we felt, well, that's not, just not really so fair to filmmakers. So uh, we do an 80-20 split. Our filmmakers get 80% from day one. And uh, we don't charge expenses. That way, we feel uh, like we're almost partners with you and we don't take your rights. Uh, and we feel that that's important too because we want you to participate in the success of your film. And something that's really important to Indie Rights is that we teach our filmmakers how to make use of social media. And social media has totally changed the opportunities for independent filmmakers. Uh, you now can reach a global audience with your film. That wasn't really possible uh, you know, before uh, the internet and uh, VOD distribution. And some of the things that uh, Jerome said are very, very true today. Uh, DVD is definitely not dead. Uh, we had a film recently that got picked up by Walmart, a film with no stars. Uh, and they uh, took uh, 20,000 copies of that film. Those deals are, are still out there. And, and, and they can be important deals and an important part of you making back the revenue on your film. So what it, what's most important is for you to go out and to do your homework and make sure that you've thoroughly researched anyone that you want to do business. And these days, it's so easy. All you have to do is get on IMDb Pro. Uh, if you don't want to pay $15 a month forever, get the two-week free trial and do your research. You shouldn't be able, it shouldn't take longer than two weeks. But IMDb Pro is invaluable. You can go there, and you can find movies that are like your movies and see who represents them. And you can talk, uh, call the producer and ask them how, what their experience is with their distributor. Believe me, everybody's gonna be willing to tell you their sob story if they have a really sad story to tell. Oh, they never paid me, I've been with them for two years, my film's still not up on iTunes, uh, you know, I'm really heartbroken. Or you'll hear, oh, they were really treated me fairly, the film's out there where I want it to be. 
And so it's very easy to do. That's not too much to ask is for you to just do some homework. Call at least five producers of films that are similar to the one that you want to, you know, to your film. And, and you'll hear good things and you'll hear bad things. And like Jerome said, there are a lot of really uh, disreputable uh, people out there. They just go around collecting films and they just want to uh, cover their expenses traveling around the world going to markets and, and uh, they don't care if you ever make money. They just, they, they just want to cover their travel expenses and that's the truth. And it's, a, it's very unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. And, uh, so both of the speakers were right about that. Um, so our, uh, our company is Indie Rights. It's very easy. If you put Indie Rights in Google, you'll get three pages that relate to us. So I'm not going to talk a lot more about it. Uh, I think it'd be really important for our, us to open it up for questions and just ask any of us uh, questions that you might have. Thanks. Uh, uh, okay, so what about um, pre deals? In other words, you have a film, you have a great concept. Um, is that still viable? Do you still do that? I uh, just want to be sure that everybody could. Can everybody hear him? Okay, so well, we'll repeat the question. He's asking um, about.